Hi, this is Yvonne Ag right here coming from Turn Up the Color Gallery and Studio and I wanted to take this opportunity to introduce to you my intern for this fall. She's delightful. This is Emma and she is one of our local high school seniors and I'm going to let Emma tell you a little bit about herself and why she's landed here as an intern in the gallery and studio. Okay, so mm -hmm. my senior project for Governor School that I'm doing the internship for mm -hmm. is the importance of fine art and creativity. So I wanted to internship at a gallery or something similar so I could mm -hmm. like learn new skills and see what it's like to run it and just kind of learn things from watching you. Gotcha. It's going very well. Nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, next question for Emma. I have interview questions for her. Um, does art help you in other areas of your life? And how has this influenced your choice in this senior project? Yeah. Um, art helps me a lot. Art helps me focus a lot in school. And um, I just draw all the time. So it's just something I really like to do. And I didn't want to do my senior project in something I wasn't interested in. Right. So I just picked the thing that I like to do all the time. Well, a little bird told me last night that Miss um, Emma here was quite astounding in her performance in the theater play. Is it a play? Yes. In their fall play. And um, they compete with it. So art for Emma is not just two-dimensional. It's performing as well. Can you say Throw in a little yeah. plug for that performance. Okay. We're doing, is this going like live like soon? We're doing um, no. I Hate War from at the high school um, on Monday, November 21st. And we got third at VHSL, so it's really good. Um, okay, so how do you define success as an artist, both in visual arts, like being here doing studio work, and then on stage or behind the stage? How do you define that success? I think that it's nice to have like other people like your art mm -hmm. both ways. Uh, but I think as long as you really like it and it's fun and it turns out how you want it, like if you're drawing something and it turns out how you want it, then I think you did good. Oh, I think you're so right about that. But of course, when you're on the stage, it's the... Uh, yeah, that's a little more <gasps> helpful. Yes, okay. Um, how have you developed your art skills? I've been drawing since I was really little, mm -hmm. so I was, I would just kind of watch a lot of like cartoons and read a lot of stuff, and then I just kind of copied the art I saw on there until um, I yeah. got a little better at it. <laughs> I think we all start that way, sort of. Um, what motivates you to create, and how will this impact your senior project? When you're talking about motivation or thinking about it, is that going to be a big component in your project? So. A bigger part of my project is more just about it, and I'm trying to have it be taken more seriously. Not art. that it's, oh. yeah, it's like art and galleries and like art therapies. Like, I want to show how it's used in life because a lot of people have the concept that you kind of just don't do anything, but there's mm. a lot that goes into it, so that's what I'm trying to do. It's way more physical than people think. Isn't yes. It? Mm -hmm. Okay, and in the best possible situation imagined, how would you, how would your project, or how do you hope it will change or affect others who interact with the project? And maybe how do you anticipate it will change you just a little bit when you're done and you get to look back at it? I think for other people, I kind of hope that they look at it and they're like, oh, she actually did something that she likes doing because mm -hmm. a lot of people tend to pick something that's easier or something that's gonna make a lot of money as a career but then they don't have fun at all with their project. So like more for like rising seniors and other people looking at it, mm. they can be like, oh, well I can do something that I actually want to do with my project. And then maybe it'll go farther. Like I can do something I want to do with my life. Ah. That's what I'm thinking. And then for me, I think I just learned a lot and it kind of made more sense to me what I want to do in the future. So I think it was really helpful and I like it a lot. Good deal. And what will be your final project part of the project in the spring. You have a mural planned? Mm-hmm. Okay. Where I'm going to paint um, a mural for Jewett Elementary for their little outdoor classroom with their salad stroll. 
It's like a really cute farm with a bunch of bunnies. Oh. So hopefully it'll stay there for a while. It's going to be adorable. Okay. And there's some learning curve in the mural thing, which is Definitely. also physically exhausting. All right. Well, that is Emma. She is my intern. She's delightful. Um, I would you. love for you guys to stop in and see her. She's usually here on Tuesdays midday and Fridays, Fridays, Fridays midday. Um, but the schedule flexes a little bit. And who knows, maybe you'll see her here managing the gallery one day. You never know. But if you have questions, drop a comment. We'll answer them. I'll ask Emma and she'll tell you. Have a good day. Oh, and by the way, like I always say, take time for yourself today and create something. Just five minutes, step away from the world. You don't need it. It'll wait for you. All your problems, all that work you have to do on your to-do list, it'll wait for you. Just take a break. Bye.